How's it going? Every single time. <laughs> okay, so that was D7 by Nirvana. Or rather, should I say, performed by Nirvana. <laughs> um, it was originally written and recorded by The Wipers. Um, I'm not overly familiar with them, to be honest. The only song of theirs I have heard is D7, <laughs> which is probably a bit of a, uh, a shame, really, because I think Kurt was quite a big fan of them. But um, yeah, I, I don't know any of their stuff, really, apart from D7, and that is because of Nirvana. Now, I originally heard this song on the deluxe edition of Nevermind. Um, on disc on disc one, it is track number 16. It says D7 live at the BBC. So I'm guessing it was one of those John Peel sessions. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's, it's, just, it's kind of a cool song to play, I guess. And this one has been requested several times, I think, by the same guy or girl, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I've finally done it for you. Sorry about that. I, you know, I've been kind of avoiding this song, to be honest, because I don't know, it just, it, it wasn't something I was overly fond of doing, but now that I've learned it and, um, you know, played it for you, I, I quite like the song. I seriously doubt I played it perfectly, of course, because I don't think even Kurt played it the same way twice, to be honest. Um, tell a lie, I think I probably did see it on the Reading DVD back in the day. Uh, yep, D7, it's the uh, penultimate track, the one before the last, so, um, yeah, I don't know, I probably did hear it before. But, I don't know, whatever. Um, so, I realise I didn't play this perfectly for you. I am 100% sure of that. But I did my absolute best for you, I do promise you that. Um, I definitely gave you guidelines to kind of like, you know, help you along with it. And if you just listen to the song and play along to it, I recommend listening to it with headphones while playing along, or like with one headphone, like I do when I'm recording. Because that way you can sort of hear all the little ins and outs while you're playing it. But other than that, yeah, I, I didn't play it perfectly, so... Um, yeah, I did get a really nice comment actually from somebody the other day saying that I need to stop putting myself down and just, um, you know, that my videos are actually pretty good and all that kind of thing, which I really appreciate. That really means a lot to me. Um, yeah, I don't think I commented back like really much apart from the fact that that means a lot to me, but it really does, you know. Um, I love the fact that people appreciate what I'm doing and the fact that people actually think I'm half good at it as well. That is, that is absolutely awesome. I love getting my verification from strangers on the internet. <laughs> Seriously though, thank you so much you guys. I can't believe like how much this channel has grown and all that stuff. It's just, it's, it's amazing, you know. So, um, yeah. Now, I got a new guitar the other day. Well, it's not exactly new. Um, my best friend in the whole world, um, this was her grand's guitar. And I can remember this being there from, you know, a very young age, like around her grand's house. It's a Spanish, um, like flamenco style acoustic guitar. And um, I can remember playing this years ago. Um, her, my friend Ellie, her gran actually gave it to her like when she was about 15 or so, 14 or 15, I think 15. And um, I can remember playing it quite a lot around her house, like around Ellie's house. And uh, yeah, it just holds some really fond memories for me. I really love this guitar. It's only like a sort of cheap kind of like learner guitar, I guess. Um, like, you know, flamenco, nylon stringed acoustic type dealio. But, Oh, I don't know, it just holds such fond memories for me and I love it so much. Ellie was like kind enough to give it to me the other day and I, I am so grateful for it because, you know, this guitar means a hell of a lot to me. Uh, yeah, playing this when I was like 15 or 16 or something, it's just, it's awesome. I think it's literally got the same strings on it that it had probably for as long as I've been around because they've not been changed since way back then, back in 2002, so... I don't know, it's just, it holds such fond memories, this thing. I can remember playing Polly on this so much back in the day, and um, quite a bit of Offspring as well, if I remember rightly. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any covers with that guitar anytime soon, because it needs new strings and it needs like a bit of TLC as well. Um, but other than that, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, if you've got any more like you know ideas for covers or anything, you know like I've been thinking about maybe doing some Sex Pistols or something like that because I love the Pistols. I think they're awesome. Um, but yeah, other than that, take it easy, guys. Peace.